It might float. Oh, Dylan! <laughs> Dylan! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was holding the rope. <laughs> I got this one, guys. I'm gonna put the bushes. Yeah. Let's check it out. Get him. Oh, let's see. Got him. Yeah, we got him. Show them. This uh, gig I use. You see the gig? Yeah. Our battery, our phone ran out of battery, so we're we're doing the best we can with this video. But uh, this um, it's actually a fish gig. Don't buy the frog gigs that you get. Uh, that's actually made for frogs. They're they're about this big. And uh, me and my buddy, big ass, was frog gigging one night. And uh, first time he swacked it, it broke. <laughs> they either cheaply made it. He was too big of a fella to be gigging with it. Let's see if we can get another one. Flash, but we got a flashlight. Got a flashlight. Look at that frog right Another there. Wow. Frog legs are not. All right. I think you did. Oh, yeah. Got him. Got him, son. Ooh. Nephew done brought a good look to me this uh, tonight. What you got to do is, when you see the eyes glow when they're white. Let me shine the light on me when you see. Can you see me like you? Yeah. <coughs> when you see the, the white of their eyes, they'll be about this big around. And, uh... There'll be a solid white. Sometimes you'll see one, sometimes you'll see two. But you gotta go in as fast and easy uh, as you can. Try not to make no racket. Get about a foot away from them. And then when you get about a foot away, just whack them. And you try to uh, not pull out real hard, but you um, try to bring it up. Bring it straight up like this so they won't come off the bar. All right, y'all. Now it's time to skin the frogs and get them ready to cook. We uh we had a little trouble last night with a flash on our phone. The battery went dead real quick for some reason, so we, we couldn't get the footage we wanted, but next video we're going to uh we're gonna have the extra batteries and stuff like that and have the GoPro on the actual uh uh frog gig. But um anyways, I've tried different ways of skinning these frogs. I think the best way for me is like this because the frogs that we have in Alabama is not as big as the frogs that they have in Louisiana. So the best thing to do is to cut cut them off like this, off at the uh, I don't know frog hips, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> then you split them in half with your knife, and you grab the uh, skin. You just gotta get your hand up under it. It's kind of slick, but as soon as you get a hold of it, it'll come off like a sock. Let's see. See there? Roll it off. There we go. As soon as you get a hold of it, it'll come off. Then you find this uh, 
the joint right there. You can see that. It's not right there at the, I guess the ankle you call it. Yeah, I don't know what you'd call that. It's got like it's got two knees on there. But you cut it off right there, right there before the joint. You got your frog leg. Toss it in the water so the flies don't get on it. The same thing with the other one. Grab a hold of it. And you, uh, you can get this pinch on it get past that slime just pull up on it stick your thumb through there and keep pulling come off just like a sock and again you uh cut at the knee good sharp knife heavy duty knife throw it in the water all right now my wife wants to give it a try but I got her some pliers to show you how much easier it is but uh she's gonna go ahead and clean this last frog and give it a shot <laughs> there you go and break the bone Kind of saw on it, cut it a little bit. It's really best to have a, a butcher knife. You can just whack at it, but I left it and uh, didn't grab it. He's gonna use the pliers to grab a hold of it. Go ahead and get them pliers and see how they work. I'm just not sure where to grab it because it's a little slippery. Where you want to. Yep, I believe them pliers are gonna work a lot better because you can't hardly get a hold of it with your hands. We caught four last night, and one of them jumped out of my bag, out of our bag, out of our uh, net, so we only got three. But, hey, it'll be a good little snack. Skinning them is the hardest part. It ain't hard to cut through the bones or anything else. That skin is just as slick as it can be. But them pliers make it easier though. Well, when you got somebody knows what they're doing. <laughs> oh. But yeah, we're gonna uh, we'll have better footage okay. next time. The next frog gigging video we bring, but. We didn't want to waste this opportunity to share this video with y'all. So anyway, that's the last one, and uh, we'll be back with you in a minute. We'll uh, we'll go cook the cook the frogs next, and let y'all know how they taste. We're gonna try it in an air fryer, and uh, instead of deep frying, and see see what that does, see what that tastes like. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're at the fun part of the, the whole process of cooking of the frog legs, so we can dig in here in a minute. But uh, first thing you got to do is you got to put them in this uh, on this paper towel and dry them off real good. Get all the all the water off of them as much as you can. Make them a little bit dry. Roll them around. Get all the water off of them. Get another paper towel clean this and dry the dry your bowl out. And you're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there. It don't take much at all. Or just about this much. That's it. Alright, now we're gonna put all of our frog legs in there. And you just wanna lather them up. You may have a different technique that you want to do. This is how I do it. Let's get a good layer of uh, olive oil in there. And I've already got my um, 
my spice is mixed up. You take about two tablespoons of, you can't, you can't forget about uh, Miss Martha White. Two tablespoons of Martha White uh, flour. Put in the bag. We got a Cajun seasoning, pepper, and salt in there. We're gonna try that this time. We're gonna try, like I said, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna try the air fryer and see, see what that does for us. I've never tried it before, but we're gonna try it this time. Let's, let's close the bag up, leave a little bit of air in there, we can shake it up. Like I said, I've already had all my seasoning mixed up in there. See. Like they're good and covered. We'll take oh before I forget, don't forget to spray your pan just in case, just so you don't get those fried legs that's sticking. Kind of, kind of shake them off just a tad a little bit. Set them on there. Make sure the frog legs ain't touching. We're gonna put them in the air fryer on 400 for 10 minutes, but when five minutes is up, you wanna flip them. All right, now we're gonna put them in the air fryer. Let's put it about midways. All right, now we're gonna uh, set the time for 10 minutes. And like I said a while ago, we, when it hits five minutes, you wanna flip them and uh, continue to cook. And uh, let's see temp we want on um, i think it was 400 i like it somewhere right here in between 375 400 we'll put it on we'll put it on 390 all right and we'll hit start and we'll hit the light because if you like me i like to watch the food cook watch it sizzle all right y'all it's at the halfway point five minutes bring her out i probably should use something more than my hands to flip it but we'll see Woo. be all right it don't hurt too bad flip them try not to tear your bread and off some of it's going to come off regardless but you mean you may not even have to flip it but we're going to flip it in this uh this video trying it like this anyhow like i said it's the first time i'm trying it we're going to let y'all know the honest truth of how they taste put it back in there and it started back automatically. Another five minutes. We'll be back with you in a minute. All right. It's time to take them out. See what they taste like. But first, they got to cool off because I ain't about to burn my tongue. So we'll be back with you in just a minute. But while y'all are waiting, Go ahead and go down there and put, uh, push the subscribe button, like, comment if you got a different recipe that you'd like to do, uh, or anything, or anything that you would, uh, something else that you'd want me to cook, go out there and catch, uh, and put on the grill, or put on the fryer, or whatever you want me to do. But yeah, just hit that subscribe button, and we'll be back with you in just a minute to see what these taste like. All right, y'all. I couldn't wait any longer. Hopefully, I won't burn my tongue or my lips, but uh, we'll try this method and see what it tastes like. That's pretty good. I put a good bit of a seasoning on there. <coughs> Cajun seasoning, but this it tastes pretty good. I don't know if I like it this way or uh or deep fried. Is air fryer gave it a run for its money though. But anyways, uh that's the end of the video. Subscribe and we'll see you next time.